Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of old sheet music. I'm your host, Nicholas Carroll. Tonight I am looking at actually a book. Uh, I'm only going to play one of the pieces though because it's quite long. Uh, this is a piano collection of Ethelbert Nevin's pieces. I did a sheet music that was one of his pieces before, which was Narcissus, which is actually one of the pieces in here, so I'm not going to play that one. I will pick a different one just because I already played the sheet music version of that. But this is an entire book of his pieces, and despite being named Ethelbert, it is indeed a male, and uh, he lived in the late 1800s, early 1900s, I believe he died in 1901 or something, pretty early on in that century, and uh, he was famous for being, um, his mother was the first person to have a grand piano taken over the Allegheny Mountains uh, to where he lived, which was a little bit north of Pittsburgh. And uh, his dad actually ended up owning a newspaper in Pittsburgh in the 1800s. And uh, Ethelbert became a pianist because uh, his talent was discovered early on. So he was considered a child prodigy. Uh, his mother was also a pianist, of course, and she wanted the grand piano taken across the mountains. Uh, the other thing that's very interesting about him is his other claim to fame is it was either his father or grandfather, I'm trying to remember, I don't remember right now off the top of my head, uh, wrote a campaign theme song for James Polk, the president. So anyway, Ethelbert wrote a collection of pieces and they were several that were kind of famous at the time. One of them was Water Scenes, which is this one that I have right here. All of them are related to some kind of watery thing. So um, we have Dragonfly, Ophelia, of course, which if you know the story of Ophelia, you know why that's water related. Water Nymph, Narcissus, of course, and Barcarolle is a boat song based on uh, Venetian gondolas. So I'm going to play the Water Nymph one. Uh, I think that one looks most interesting just paging through here. Um, and I did play Narcissus, I believe, in an earlier video. So let's see what Water Nymph is like. It is Allegro Grazioso, which means it is fast and graceful. There's a lot of accidentals, it looks like, though, so I'm not going to play it up to full speed since I haven't played it before. And we shall see how it sounds.
mostly of this uh, arrangement and I was playing here in the middle of it I turned a page and I thought oh I turned two pages by accident because uh, there's a first ending and if you know how to read music this will make more sense to you there's a first ending and then there's your repeat song like you'd expect go back I did that did the back repeat turn the page but when you turn the page, there is no second ending mark. So I thought, oh, I turned too many pages. But actually, I did not because that is page 12. And it is supposed to be the next part that there was no second ending. So it freaked me out for a minute there. The other thing is there are many, many places in this piece where, and this is probably the editor more than the composer, uh, stuff like this, which is impossible to play that far uh, apart because that is just impossible to reach. And I have pretty big hands. So the thing is, normally you would expect them to put in an arpeggiated chord mark, and there is not an arpeggiated chord mark there. So when you're sight reading, it catches you off guard and you're kind of like, boy, uh, I have to roll those. So those two caveats other than that uh, the piece itself had a kind of a continual motion feeling which i guess is the playful water nymph thing so compositionally i think it was a decent piece uh and especially if you practiced it and you know knew that kind of stuff was coming you could do it more justice i'm sure than me sight reading it there so overall i think it would be a decent piece um but i do have complaint about the editing and the arrangement of the sheet music uh i didn't mention this before this is from 1891 and you may have heard of g Shermer company because they make tons and tons of stuff um usually they have the like the tan book with the uh, border that everybody's seen if you've ever learned an instrument at some point you've probably seen the Shermer cover uh but this actually says G. Shermer Jr. So that tells me that this was printed at the time that G. Shermer, the original person who founded the company, child uh, was still alive. So this is quite old. You know, nowadays it just says G. Shermer because they're both long dead. So, you know, why would you bother putting Jr.? But it does say Jr. there uh, if you want to see that. I think that's interesting because... I have seen many, many, many books by the Shermer Company and never seen, trying to get it to focus, but it might not focus on that well enough. But trust me, that right there says Junior. It is lowercase j, which is weird too. So that's the first time I've seen Junior on something. So anyway, Ethelbert Nevin, Water Nymphs. 